Hello and welcome to the 2023 Achievement Awards Ceremony. I'm David Muller, Dean for Medical Education and Chair of the Lenny and Peter W. May Department of Medical Education. And I'm Marta Filizzola, Dean of the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences and Sharon and Frederick Klingestein and Nathan Case, MD Professor in the Department of Pharmacological Sciences. We continue to try new and engaging ways to celebrate our students' achievements. Our award ceremony is being pre-recorded today so that we can spend more time celebrating with our award recipients in person. We hope you truly enjoy the program we have put together. There will be two categories of awards being presented today. First, we will acknowledge the uh, students graduating with distinctions or honors, and then we will announce the students who are receiving achievement awards. Without further ado, let's begin. At the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences at Mount Sinai, all of our graduating PhD students have defended theses that include high-impact research. The research has been published in the highest-profile science journals, with several students publishing multiple articles as their primary authors. Through this criteria, some outstanding PhD graduates, including the Terry Ann Kruilch Doctoral Dissertation Prize Award winner, were deemed to have gone above and beyond in their accomplishments and defended their thesis with distinction. It is my pleasure to recognize this year's PhD students who are graduating with distinction in research and to thank the outstanding mentors with whom their achievements would not have been possible. We would like to congratulate the 2023 students graduating with distinction in research. Sasha Fulton, Royce Zhu. Congratulations to you. The delivery of outstanding healthcare depends upon progress in medical research. We are proud that all of our students in the MD program participate in research during their medical education. Many take the additional step of assuming the primary responsibility for carrying out their own project, earning first authorship on a resulting manuscript. When the manuscript is accepted for publication by a scientific journal having an impact factor of two or greater, we recognize their accomplishment by granting the student distinction in research. Today, it is my honor to sit in for Mary Rojas, Director of the Med Student Research Office, and it is my pleasure to honor these 73 students and to thank the outstanding mentors without whom their achievements would not have been possible. Congratulations to the students earning this honor and our gratitude to their mentors for their support and dedication. Isha Bansal, Christopher Belair, Natalie Berger, Kevin Boo, Alexander Donchak, Capolini, Stephen Chen, Chai Chen, Peter Cook, Ariel Coughlin, Stephanie Deeb, Daniel Fulop, Eric Gang, Matthew Gluck, Brandon Gold, Joseph Hahn, Terence Hughes, Alexander Kaliki, Samir Kamat, Derek Kao, Harrison Kaplan, Dustin Key, Sarah Kiani, Elliot Kim, Elise Kuo, Young Kwan, Margarina Labkovich, Mukanga Marcia Lang, Jessica Lee, Samuel Lee, Christine Little, Carolyn Yu, Madeleine Yu, Cynthia Luo, Patrick Mali, Samuel Marin, Naomi Maiman, Cecily McIntyre, Ariana Mills, Kate Moody, Olivia Moshiski, Devika Natkarni, Ryan Neff, Danielle Novak, Ross Hagen, Kasabafalui Oguntuyo, Samuel O. Oh, Jeffrey Okawunmi, Paloma Rosco Scott, Parth Patel, Daniel Albegranti, Manasa Rao, Krishna Vavivarapu, Ivy Wren, Haley Ronk, Shoshana Rosenzweig, Gab Gabriel Santos, Charles Saylor, Lily Schussler, Drew Sankar, Jennifer Schmuckler, Emily Spira, Mary Sun, Jessica Tan, Jessica Tran, Ali Valiani, Girish Valuru, Dylan Villavisanis, Yuan Shuo Wang, Mark Weingarten, Kevin Weiss, Haley Zarin, Magda Zoda, and Royce Zhao. Distinction in Medical Education recognizes those students who have taken leadership roles in medical education and have developed and implemented 
a scholarly project related to the field of medical education. DIME is awarded to those students who dedicate significant time to education, demonstrate excellence in teaching or curriculum development, and who have taken a scholarly approach to their work in education. Congratulations to the following students earning this honor. Aisha Bansal, Christopher Peter Belair, Terence Martin Hughes, Alexander Kaliki, Sarah Nikki Kiani, Mukanga Marshallang, Paloma Claire Orozco Scott, Jessica Hong Mai Tran, and Dylan Villavisanis. Distinction in Community Service and Global Health recognizes students who have shown significant dedication to global health during their time at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai through scholarly work, education, leadership, and or service. We define global health broadly as the area of study, research, and practice that places a priority on improving health and achieving equity in health for all people worldwide. This typically involves work with underserved populations and can be performed either abroad or in the United States. Congratulations to the following students for earning this high honor. Unmana Abasi, Isha Bansal, Bessie Birhanu, Cody Goldberger, Terence Hughes, Dustin Key, Sarah Kiani, Mukanga Marcia Lange, Cynthia Luo, Luke Mali, Cecily McIntyre, Olivia Moshiski, Devika Nadkarni, Jeffrey Okounmi, Paloma Orozco Scott, Parth Patel, Gabriel Santos Malave, Emily Spira, Ashesh Trivedi, Dylan Villavisanis, Kevin Weiss, Stephanie Wu, and Magda Zaudi. Hello, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Singer, Associate Professor of Emergency Medicine and Medical Education. The Gold Humanism Society honors medical students, residents, role model physician teachers, and other exemplars recognized for demonstrated excellence in clinical care, leadership, compassion, and dedication to service. The following students were inducted into the Gold Humanism Honor Society at a special virtual ceremony in February 2023. This is a unique honor because these students were selected by their peers with whom they completed their third year of medical school. Please help me congratulate the following members of the Gold Humanism Honor Society Class of 2023. Suet Baraket, Besalat Burhanu, Julie Burns, Elizabeth Clifton, Tahira Murtarza Doctor, Michael Gao, Caitlin Elizabeth Hans, Josemir Hernandez Antonio, Terence Martin Hughes, Krishna Karthari, Riva Lechtinger, James Myers, Olivia Nicole Moshiski, Victoria Moraz, Paloma Claire Orozco Scott, Ivy Wren, Ruhi Divyang Shah, Arkash Sharma, Jason Storch, Mary Dutang Sun, Kevin Matthew Weiss. We would also like to acknowledge the following students who were inducted into GHHS in 2022 and who are graduating this year after a scholarly year Unwana Mufon Abasi. Ariel Catherine Coughlin, Chioma Ann Ulumo, Devika Nardkarni, and Michelle Tong. The next part of the ceremony will recognize students who have achieved excellence in a specific area or discipline and who have taken on a leadership role in the advancement of equity and access while in medical and graduate school. There is a brief bio in your digital program that describes the accomplishments of these outstanding students. Hello, I am Tara Cunningham, the Senior Associate Dean for Student Affairs in the Linney and Peter W. May Department of Medical Education. I have the pleasure of presenting the following Medical School Achievement Awards. The Burton Dreyer Prize in Radiology and Biomedical Imaging Award is donated by the Department of Radiology in honor of Dr. Burton Dreyer, Dean for Clinical Affairs and System Chair of the Department of Radiology. This year's winner is Fred Kwan. While at ICON, Fred volunteered in the East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership, or EHOP, the student-run free clinic, as a senior clinician, radiology interest group, Sinai Biodesign, and machine learning for health organization committees. 
He published 23 articles in peer-reviewed journals and presented at national meetings. John will graduate with his MD PhD degree and continue his residency training in diagnostic radiology at NYU. Congratulations, Fred. The Dr. Harold Lampert Biomedical Research Prize is given to a student who has made significant contributions to the field of biomedical research while attending medical school. Dr. Harold Lampert majored in math and physics at Harvard, after which he did research in those fields prior to entering medical school. In 1951, he became a research professor of physiology at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, where he remained until his death in 1975. In recognition of his achievements, he was posthumously named as the Distinguished Service Professor. Mrs. Golden Lampert, his wife, was a librarian and administrator in the Department of Physiology. It is my honor to present the 2023 recipient of the Dr. Harold Lampert Biomedical Research Prize to Daniel Lawrence Alchek Ranti. At Mount Sinai, Daniel joined the patient-oriented research training and leadership program known as PORTAL, where he joined Dr. Amir Horowitz and Dr. John Svekianos to research causes of treatment resistance and non-muscle invasive bladder cancer to immunotherapy. His research was funded by the PORTAL program and the New York Academy of Medicine, and was primarily focused on imaging techniques to provide spatial insights into tumor resistance. Daniel has published over 20 peer-reviewed articles and has had the opportunity to present his work to regional, national, and international audiences. Daniel will graduate with an MD and his medical science and clinical research degree while he continues his education at Columbia University. Congratulations, Daniel. The Erwin Gallant MD Award for Service to the Community was established by Mrs. Lois Gallant to honor and recognize dedication to leadership, advocacy, and service within the community. These attributes were the hallmark of her husband's career at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. The award is made possible through donations made by friends and family of her late husband, Dr. Erwin Gallant. This year's winner is Paloma Claire Orozco Scott. Since coming to ICON, Paloma has made significant contributions to community service and anti-racist institutional change. Dean Angel Palermo introduced Paloma to the East Harlem Community Health Committee, where they worked on a project raising awareness about the 2020 census. Paloma has served as the community engagement chair and co-chief teaching senior for the East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership, the student-run free clinic. At the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, Paloma led an EHOP campaign to distribute 28 AC units to EHOP patients at high risk of health-related illness, the number one cause of climate-related death in New York City. Paloma will graduate their, with their MD degree and continue their residency in internal medicine at the University of California, San Francisco in a primary care track at the San Francisco General Hospital. Congratulations, Paloma. It is my pleasure to present the Mount Sinai Alumni Student Leadership Award on behalf of the Alumni Association and the Alumni Advisory Council to an outstanding student or trainee who exhibits exemplary leadership in organizing class activities and spirit, as well as demonstrating outstanding service to the community. We are so pleased that we will soon be able to welcome today's recipients into the Mount Sinai Alumni community. This year, we have two recipients. Our first recipient of the Mount Sinai Alumni Student Leadership Award is Christopher Peter Belair. Christopher is committed to advocating for veterans' health in his medical training and a future career as a physician, and he hopes to increase awareness within the medical community about the military service and how it can affect veterans' physical and mental health later in life. Christopher will graduate with his MD and continue residency at Georgetown's Orthopedic Surgery Residency Program in Washington, DC. Congratulations, Christopher. Our second recipient is Hashem Zikri. As a medical student, Dr. Zikri implemented an athletic program to complement outpatient transition at Odyssey Health, a drug and alcohol rehabilitation program in New York City. He also was accepted to the Mount Sinai Deloitte Fellowship in Healthcare Policy Consulting in Washington, D.C., where he participated in mapping sessions with the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland, to develop a metric for general surgery and orthopedic surgeon deployment. 
As chief resident at ICON Mount Sinai, he directs the academic conference for residents and faculty by managing curriculum, overseeing content for weekly meetings, delivering lectures, and helping to develop the Grand Rounds Speaker Committee. Dr. Zilkri earned his MD from ICON Mount Sinai, where he was a humanities and medicine program scholar and will be a scholar in the National Clinician Scholars Program at UCLA. Congratulations, Dr. Zikri. Next, I have the pleasure to present the Patient-Oriented Research Training and Leadership Thesis Award in Clinical Research. The Portal Program is a dual degree program and students graduate with their MD and Medical Science and Clinical Research after completion of a scholarly year of research. This award is granted in recognition of a student who has demonstrated mastery of the essence of clinical and translational research within a particular area of interest. This year, we have seven recipients. Our first recipient is Alexandra Donchek Capolini. While at ICON, Alexandra participated in the East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership, the student run free clinic, as a clinical manager, represented her class in student council, and co led the pediatrics interest group. She contributed to behavior change research with the Chronic Disease Action Center at the Arnold Institute of Global Health, as well as cancer predisposition gene research at the Mount Sinai Center for Transformative Disease Modeling. Alexandra earned her Master of Science in Clinical Research through the Portal Program. She completed a full-time research year with Dr. James L. M. Ferrara's lab and the Hematologic Malignancies Translational Research Center, BMT Clinical Research of the Tisch Cancer Institute. Prior to graduation, Alexander traveled to the United Kingdom to study the ethical considerations of sport prosthetic coverage for young amputees through a partnership between the Ethox Center of Oxford University and the Bioethics Program at ISMMS. She has published three articles in peer-reviewed journals throughout her time at Sinai. Alexandra will graduate with her MD and MSCR degree and begin residency training in medicine pediatrics at the University of Michigan. Congratulations, Alexandra. Our second recipient is Daniel Fulop. While at Mount Sinai, Dan was accepted to the patient-oriented research training and leadership or portal program, a dual degree program, and was a Digestive Diseases Research Foundation fellow. He completed his master's thesis research on the impact of antibiotics on survival of patients with metastatic pancreatic cancer, which has been published in the JAMA Network Open. Dan has also participated in the East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership, EHOP, the student-run free clinic, as an access to care team case manager, financial coordinator, consultant, and teaching senior. Dan will graduate with his MD, MSCR degree, and continue his residency training in internal medicine at Massachusetts General Hospital. Congratulations, Dan. Our third recipient is Derek Cow. While at ICON, Derek participated in the Student Run Free Clinic, or EHOP, as a chronic care senior clinician and clinical manager coordinator taught and mentored high school students in the Medical Discovery of Careers, or MedDocs program, and helped produce the Story Project, an annual monologue performance. Derek was admitted to the Patient-Oriented Research Training and Leadership Program to pursue an MD and MSCR degree. His research focuses on clinical outcomes in head and neck cancer, and his efforts have resulted in presentations and awards at national conferences and multiple first author articles in peer-reviewed journals. Derek will graduate with his MD, MSCR degree, and continue his residency and research training in otolaryngology, head and neck surgery at the University of Michigan. Congratulations, Derek. Our fourth recipient is Caitlin Grace London. While at Sinai, Caitlin joined the Patient-Oriented Research Training and Leadership Dual Degree MD and MSCR program and began as a student researcher in Sinai's Ferrara Lab. For Caitlin's early work at the Ferrara Lab, she was named as the inaugural Tisch Cancer Institute Medical Student Research Scholar. At the Ferrara Lab, she completed her master thesis, a phase two study of natalizumab plus standard corticosteroid treatment for high risk acute graft versus host disease that she presented at the American Society for Hematology or ASH, the annual meeting and was honored with the ASH Physician Scientist Award. 
Caitlin also served as a leader for the Portal Peer Mentor Committee and as a student co-leader of Sinai's preseason pediatrics Nexus course. Caitlin aspires to pursue a career as a pediatric hematologist, oncologist, and translational researcher in the field. Caitlin will graduate with her MD and medical science in clinical research and will continue her residency and training in pediatrics at the New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell. Congratulations, Caitlin. Our fifth recipient is Daniel Ratti. Congratulations again, Daniel. Our sixth recipient is Jessica Hong Maitran. At ICON, Jessica was accepted into the Patient Oriented Research Training and Leadership Portal Program, a scholarship funded dual degree in MD and Medical Science and Clinical Research. She was awarded the Portal Thesis Award in Clinical Research for her master's thesis on comparative outcomes between surgical and transcatheter replacement for failed bioprosthetic aortic valves. Outside of research, Jessica served as a chief teaching senior and the ophthalmology branch of the student-run East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership Clinic. She developed pediatric ophthalmology curriculum, which was integrated in the third year pediatric clerkship and was a course director for the inaugural Introduction to Medical and Surgical Ophthalmology Nexus course. Jessica will graduate with her MD, MSCR degree and will continue her residency training in ophthalmology at the University of California, Los Angeles Steinine Institute. Congratulations, Jessica. Our fifth recipient is Mary Daitung Sun. While at ICON, Mary co-founded the Diversity Innovation Hub, a unique community-driven incubator that tackles social determinants of health-driven disparities, and was a founding member of the national Time's Up Healthcare Movement and the Gender Equity Accelerator Council at Mount Sinai. She also concurrently earned a master's degree in software engineering from Harvard University and a master's degree in clinical research from Mount Sinai completed a research fellowship at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Society, co-edited a best-selling textbook and published over 40 peer-reviewed articles and book chapters. Outside of the classroom, she volunteered for the mental health clinic at the East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership Program, led behavioral health and educational design projects at several health techno technology companies, and was elected into the Gold Humanism Honor Society. Mary will graduate with her MD and MSCR degrees and continue her residency in psychiatry as part of the clinical track at the Brigham and Williams Hospital, Harvard Medical School. Congratulations, Mary. It is my honor to present the Leonard Tao Humanism and Medicine Award, which is donated by the Arnold P. Gold Foundation and is given to the graduating student who best demonstrates the foundation's ideals of outstanding compassion in the delivery of care, respect for patients, their families, and healthcare colleagues, and clinical excellence. This year's recipient of the Leonard Tao Humanism and Medicine Award is Paloma Claire Orozco Scott. Congratulations again, Paloma. A new addition to the Medical School Achievement Awards this year is the United States Public Health Service Excellence in Public Health Award. This award recognizes medical students across the United States who have advanced public health and those who exemplify the United States Public Health Service Commissioned Corps mission to protect, promote, and advance the health and safety of our nation. This year's recipient of the United States Public Health Service Excellence in Public Health Award is Elizabeth McGill. Liza matriculated at Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in 2020. She enrolled in the dual degree MD and MPH program through the Global Health Scholars Program. While at Icon, Liza has participated in leadership for the East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership, Mental Health Clinic, developing a consultant liaison program to better integrate medical health into primary care for EHOP patients. She has published research related to the implementation of psychological interventions across low resource settings and well-being of medical students during the COVID-19 pandemic. Liza will graduate with her MPH degree and complete a gap year in global psychiatry at the organization Partners in Health prior to finalizing her MD degree. Congratulations, Elizabeth.
Our next seven awards are provided by the Department of Medical Education to recipients who exemplify the school's missions. These awards celebrate students who have made lasting contributions to the culture of Mount Sinai. Students are nominated by faculty and peers and are selected by the Achievement Awards Committee. The Dr. Barry Stimmel Award for Excellence in Medical Education is awarded to a graduating medical student who has contributed to the education and advancement of their fellow students through their commitment to teaching and advancing medical education. This student has made lasting changes to the curriculum and learning environment. This year's recipient is Mukanga Marcia Lang. While at Sinai, Marcia was accepted into the Global Health Scholars Program through which she received an MPH and conducted global mental health research in Japan. She organized an advocacy in medicine conference for medical students around New York, started a nutrition and culinary medicine elective course, and participated in the curricular redesign process as a committee member. As an RBI CAP fellow, Marcia worked alongside other students to revamp the medical school's anti-oppressive curriculum. She also volunteered with EHOP as an access to care team case manager and teaching senior. As a Digestive Disease Research Foundation fellow with Dr. Tatiana Kushner, Marcia devoted a year to working on various clinical research studies at the intersection of hepatology and public health, including a prospective study on non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in pregnancy. Her work was selected for oral and poster presentations at national and international conferences, and she published in multiple peer-reviewed journals. Marcia will graduate with an, MP, an MD and an MPH degree as part of the dual degree program and continue her residency training in internal medicine at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. Congratulations, Marcia. The next award is the Dr. David K. McDonough Award for Diversity in Medical Education. This prize is awarded to the graduating medical student who has worked diligently to increase diversity in medicine and on our campus and supported an environment where diversity and inclusion are valued. This year's recipient is Makta Zaude. While at ICON, Makta served on the SNMA board as a minority association and pre-medical students liaison, the Student Council Steering Committee as a Eurism representative, where she also co-founded and served on the Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Anti-Racism Subcommittee, and as an SEOM Families Mentor. Makta volunteered at EHOP as a senior clinician and teaching senior, and in the Med Docs program, an after-school program for high school students as a mentor. She has been involved in several translational and clinical research projects with a focus on cancer and has published her research in multiple peer-reviewed journals. Magda will graduate with an, her MD degree and continue her residency training in general surgery at UCSF. Congratulations, Magda. The Harold Elster Memorial Prize for Clinical Acumen is awarded to a graduating medical student for their clinical excellence, including patient communication skills, reasoning ability, teamwork, and medical knowledge. This year's, year's recipient is Kevin Matthew Weiss. During his time at ISMMS, Kevin was deeply involved with EHAP as an access to care team case manager, chronic care junior and senior clinician, clinic co-chair and chief teaching senior. He volunteered as a teaching assistant for multiple preclinical courses, worked as an editor for the ISMMS Journal of Science and Medicine, and was a member of the Harm Reduction Coalition and the Segregated Care Working Group. He conducted and published research on the COVID-19 response in student-run free clinics and the dynamics and epidemiology of anal and cervical HPV in people living with HIV and will graduate with distinction in research. He was elected by his peers into the Gold Humanism Honor Society. Kevin will graduate with his MD degree and continue his residency training in internal medicine at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts. Congratulations, Kevin. The James Felt Award for Promotion of Social and Racial Justice is awarded to a graduating medical student who exemplifies the view of medicine as a socially just profession and has demonstrated engagement in and commitment to deconstructing and mitigating racism and bias in the school community and healthcare system. This year's recipient is Paloma Claire Orozco Scott. Congratulations again, Paloma. The Humanities and Medicine program, founded in 1987 by Dr. Nathan Case, was based on the principle that a comprehensive liberal arts education is essential for both a lifetime of intellectual enrichment and a successful career in medicine. FlexMed grew out of HUMED and shares the goal of enhancing the quality of a student's interactions with patients, families, and colleagues, leading to excellent clinical performance. Accordingly, the Judith and Nathan Case Humanities and Medicine Prize is awarded to two graduating students who exemplify the principles of the FlexMed program. 
The award recognizes outstanding performance in clinical studies and diverse interests that impact the study and practice of medicine. Our first recipient is Natalie Francis Berger. While at ICON, Natalie led the Mount Sinai Humanities Interest Group and organized a lecture by Dr. Arnold Weinstein, a world-renowned writer and professor. She served as the course coordinator of Words to Live By, a creative writing course for medical and graduate students. She was an editor and contributed to Mount Sinai's literary magazine, The Apothecary, where she published an essay and a short story. Lastly, Natalie acted, wrote, and directed for The Story Project, Mount Sinai's annual student-run anonymous monologue show. Natalie will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in general surgery at NYU. Congratulations, Natalie. Our second recipient is Dylan Villavisanis. While at ICON, Dylan co-founded the Reach In Initiative, co-sponsored the Surgical Subspecialty Acting Internship, co-led the High Value Care Committee, and worked as a fellow to Artist Ventures. Dylan served on the board of several nonprofit organizations, including co-chair of the Young Leadership Board for Smile Train, as co-chair of the Curriculum Committee for the Gay Lesbian Medical Association, and on the advisory board of the Hispanic Scholarship Fund. He pursued a research fellowship in plastic and reconstructive surgery at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and has published over 50 peer-reviewed manuscripts, written over 100 abstracts, and generated over $100,000 in research grant funding. Dylan will graduate with his MD and continue his residency training in plastic and reconstructive surgery at Penn. Congratulations, Dylan. The Patricia Levinson Award for the Advancement of Women in Medicine pays tribute to the late Patricia Levinson, who was a Mount Sinai trustee for 34 years and was committed to the advancement of those underrepresented in medicine and science. The Patricia Levinson Award honors a medical student who has contributed significantly to the advancement of women leaders in medicine and science and has worked towards gender equity in academic medicine. The awardee has a track record of advocating for the development of women leaders, as well as enhancing the professional environment for women in medicine. This year's recipient is Isha Bansal. While at ISMMS, Isha developed an elective course using film narratives to explore global women's health topics, conducted epidemiology research on prenatal air pollution exposure in Mexico City, and studied cardiac health inequities in Haiti through the Haiti Cardiac Alliance. She published several academic articles in peer-reviewed journals, received the 2021 Excellence in Public Health Award of the U.S. Physician National Advisory Committee, and participated in the 2022 Fellowship at Auschwitz for the Study of Professional Ethics Medical Cohort in Germany and Poland. Isha will graduate with her MD-MPH degree and continue residency training in internal medicine at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania with the goal of becoming a physician leader in the fields of global health and gender equity. Congratulations, Isha. The Office of Well-Being and Resilience Medical Students Well-Being Leadership Award was established to recognize a graduating medical student who has contributed significantly to the advancement of medical student well-being. This year's recipient is Rachel Co. Waldman. While at the Icon School of Medicine, Rachel participated in the Practice Enhancement Engagement Resilience and Support Program, or PEERS, becoming a group facilitator and member of the leadership team in 2020, and then taking on program co-leadership responsibilities in 2021. Additionally, she led the middle school enrichment program MedStart during her second year, participated in HRSJ, was part of the Story Project all four years of medical school, and never stopped pursuing her love of jazz and contemporary dance. Rachel will graduate with her MD degree and begin residency training in general surgery at New York Presbyterian Brooklyn Methodist Hospital. Congratulations, Rachel. Hello, I'm Rainier Soriano, Professor and Senior Associate Dean for Curricular Affairs for the Lenny and Peter W. May Department of Medical Education. The next few awards are awarded based on students' academic achievement and are made possible by generous gifts from thoughtful donors. The Dr. Alan F. Guttmacher Obstetrics and Gynecology Prize has been donated by Mrs. Ann Loeb, Dr. Guttmacher's daughter, as well as the Department of Obstetrics, Gynecology, and Reproductive Sciences. It is given to the student who has demonstrated the greatest proficiency in obstetrics and gynecology, particularly in the fields of fertility and sterility. And this year, the winner is Manasa Gita Rao. While at ICON, Gita participated in EHOP, 
gynecology clinic as a teaching senior, volunteered as an emergency room advocate with the Mount Sinai Sexual Assault and Violence Intervention, or SAVI, program, was co-president of the American Medical Women's Association, or AMWA, chapter at ICON, and was involved on the curricular team as an OBGYN clerkship representative. She participated in several research projects with the Maternal Fetal Medicine Department and has published three first author articles in peer-reviewed journals. Gita will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in OBGYN at New York Presbyterian Hospital, Columbia University. Congratulations, Gita. The Dr. Howard Rappaport Pediatric Award is given to the student who best demonstrates excellence and accomplishment in clinical investigation or scholarship in the field of pediatrics. This year's award goes to Ariella Bell Cohen. Since entering the MD program in 2019, Ariella has been involved in several research projects in pediatrics, global health, and neurology departments, and also volunteered in the Pediatric Associates Clinic to screen for and address family social needs. She served as a peer tutor, as well as a teaching assistant for several preclinical courses. Additionally, Ariella was involved in the medical Spanish course, both as a student and course leader, and she was ultimately certified as a bilingual provider. Ariella will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in child neurology at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Congratulations, Ariella. The Dr. Joseph R. Jagas Anesthesiology Award was donated by the Jagas family and is given to a graduating student who has demonstrated excellence in the field of anesthesiology, clinically, academically, or through research. This year's recipient is Emily Michelle Backner. While at ICON, Emily conducted research in orthopedics at the Hospital for Special Surgery, as well as research in both infectious diseases and anesthesiology at Mount Sinai. In connection with this research, she published five articles in peer-reviewed journals and presented six abstracts at national conferences. Emily will graduate with her MD and MPH degrees, and she's incredibly excited to be continuing her residency training in anesthesiology at Mount Sinai. Congratulations, Emily. The Dr. M. Ralph Kaufman Psychiatry Prize is given to a graduating student who exemplifies the qualities of academic excellence, has shown a passion for the field of psychiatry, and who has taken a compassionate approach to patient care. This year's recipient of the Dr. M. Ralph Kaufman Psychiatry Prize is Mary Dautong Sun. Congratulations again, Mary. The Dr. Morris B. Bender Award in Clinical Neurology is for a graduating medical student who has demonstrated outstanding performance, exceptional talent, and dedication to the excellence in neurology, all consistent with the role model standards set for neurology at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai by Dr. Morris Bender. This year's recipient of the Dr. Morris B. Bender Award in Clinical Neurology is Naomi Adelia Maiman. While at Mount Sinai, Naomi participated in EHOP as a chronic care junior, chronic care senior, and teaching senior. She also volunteered as a mentor in the MedDocs program, an admissions committee member, and a student council member. She published several peer-reviewed articles and gave two oral presentations at the International Stroke Conference. Naomi will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in neurology at the University of Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Naomi. The George James Epidemiology Award is donated by the Department of Environmental Medicine and Public Health and is given to a graduating student who is actively engaged in matters of preventive and community health. This year's award winner is Elizabeth McGill. Congratulations again, Elizabeth. The Jeffrey Modell Clinical Immunology Prize is made possible by Mr. Fred and Mrs. Vicki Modell and the Jeffrey Modell Foundation, a public charity devoted to early and precise diagnosis, meaningful treatments, and cures through clinical basic research, physician education, patient support, advocacy, public awareness, and newborn screening. This year's recipient is Stephen Chen. While at ICON, Stephen participated in EHOP as a chronic care senior clinician, research chair, and head teaching senior. He also helped establish a new ancillary clinic at EHOP 
in his role as the GI liver clinic teaching senior. During his PhD, he was teaching assistant for the graduate level courses Fundamentals of Immunology and Biomedical Sciences for MD-PhD, as well as the medical school admissions preparation program. He completed his doctoral research in immunology in the labs of Dr. Miriam Merad and Dr. Brian Brown. Stephen will graduate with his MD-PhD degree and continues residency training in internal medicine at the Wild Cornell Medical Center, New York Presbyterian Hospital. Congratulations, Stephen. The Mrs. David A. Dryling Surgery Prize in memory of her mother, Florence L. Oppenheimer, is an award that is generously donated by Mrs. Muriel Dryling and is given to a student who has shown scholarly excellence and will be going into a surgical subspecialty. The recipient of this year's Mrs. David A. Dryling Surgery Prize is Harrison Jacob Kaplan. While at ICON, Harrison was a member of the Sinai Biodesign Student Working Group and a co-founder of Healthcare Huddle, a healthcare news and education company. He served as a leader of the Transplant Surgery Interest Group and Scrubs Addressing the Firearm Epidemic, and has continued to volunteer as a supervisor for MIT Emergency Medical Services. He has published five manuscripts in peer-reviewed journals on topics including disparities in surgical outcomes and quality improvement, and is graduating with distinction in research. Harrison will graduate with his MD degree and continue his residency training in general surgery at Baylor College of Medicine, where he will be a member of the innovation track. Congratulations, Harrison. Dr. Stephen B. Tamarin was a family physician on the Upper West Side and one of the first family physicians to practice in Manhattan. He was a lifelong advocate for the development of family medicine in New York City and cared for his patients for many years at what is now Mount Sinai West. One of his dreams was the establishment of a Department of Family Medicine at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. The Stephen B. Tamarin, MD, Memorial Award for Excellence in Family Medicine is given to a student who has worked most diligently to develop and support the Family Medicine Group at the Icon School of Medicine and to promote family medicine as a specialty choice for medical students throughout their training. This year's recipient is Lindsay Danielle Clark. While at Sinai, Lindsay helped lead advocacy efforts as a member of the Segregated Care Student Work Group, Medical Students for Choice Leadership Group, and Mount Sinai's Hospital Vaginal Birth After Cesarean Calculator Task Force. She published two peer-reviewed papers describing her medical education work in segregated care and climate change. Lindsay also acted as editor-in-chief for the student-run creative arts journal, The Apothecary. A writer herself, the poetry and fiction she produced while at Mount Sinai have been nominated for awards and published in university and independent presses, both in print and online. Given her early passion for primary care and the broad spectrum of her projects, she naturally decided on a career in family medicine. Lindsay will graduate with an MD and continue on to residency training in family medicine at UC Davis Medical Center in Sacramento, California. Congratulations, Lindsay. The Barry Collar Award for Excellence in Clinical Medicine is donated by the Samuel Brothman Department of Medicine in honor of Dr. Barry Collar, former chair of the Department of Medicine, and given to a student who demonstrates the greatest proficiency and aptitude for clinical medicine and patient care. This year, we are very proud to present this award to recipient Claire Elizabeth Francis Morley. While at ICON, Claire has devoted much of her time to curricular development of the School and Clinical Care at EHOP as chair of the Orientation Committee and a member of the Racism and Bias Initiative Guiding Coalition she worked to overhaul the structure of the medical school orientation. This work won her the Student Award in Curricular Development in 2020. Claire has held various roles at HEOP, including as a chronic care senior and physician recruitment chair on the steering committee. In summer 2019, Claire completed community health research in Jarabacoa, Dominican Republic, and remains devoted to serving our local Latino communities as a certified bilingual interpreter. As an ASMTA, she has contributed to curricular development and has taught the MS2 class various approaches to clinical medicine. Claire will graduate with her MD degree and is ecstatic to stay in the Sinai family 
as an incoming internal medicine resident this summer. Congratulations, Claire. The Milton C. Angle MD Award in Geriatric Medicine is named after a longtime geriatrician at Mount Sinai and was made possible through a generous gift from David D. and Betty Cooper Wallerstein. Mr. and Mrs. Wallerstein's gift especially honors the dedicated and excellent care Dr. Engel provided for their parents, Adele and Joseph Cooper, and Victoria and Adolph Wallerstein. This year, we are very proud to present this award to the recipient, Cicely Claire McIntyre. At ICON, Cicely was accepted into the Primary Care Scholars Program, an immersive four-year clinical curriculum for students dedicated to pursuing a career in primary care. She was co-president of the Geriatrics Interest Group and the Palliative Care Interest Group, and was a clerkship representative for the Ambulatory Care Geriatrics Clerkship. She participated in a summer program in aging research, or the MSTAR, at Johns Hopkins and has published a first author manuscript about falls during COVID-19. Cicely also conducted a research project with two classmates investigating the co-creation of legacy projects could combat ageism in medical trainees. One of Cicely's most impactful experiences at ICON was caring for two chronically ill older adult patients at the student-run free clinic EHOP during her MS3 and MS4 years. Cicely will graduate with her MD degree and continue her residency training in internal medicine at Yale Primary Care in New Haven, Connecticut. Congratulations, Cicely. The next group of awards represents students' achievement while in the graduate school. Dr. Filizola, take it from here. The Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences at Mount Sinai confers doctoral degrees in biomedical sciences, neuroscience, and clinical research, as well as master's degrees in public health, biomedical sciences, biomedical data science, biostatistics, clinical research, healthcare delivery leadership, health administration, epidemiology, and genetic counseling. We are also home to over 550 postdoctoral trainees. Our graduate students and postdocs play a fundamental role in the outstanding contributions that the Mount Sinai has made and continues to make to biomedical research and its translation into personalized medicine. It is with enormous pride that we introduce the next series of awards to recognize the great accomplishments of our PhD students at Mount Sinai. The Graduate School's Advancement of Women in Science Award honors a graduate student who has contributed significantly to the advancement of women in science and has worked to achieve gender equity in academia and the research community. The awardee has a track record of advocating for the development of women leaders as well as enhancing the professional environment for women in the sciences. The recipient of this year's award is Amanda Leithead. While at ICANN, Amanda served as a co-president for Girls Empowered in Medicine and Science and volunteered for Women in Science, mentoring in the neuroscience discovery at Sinai and the Practice Enhancement Engagement Resilience and Support Program, Graduate Student Wellness Program. Amanda's dissertation was on the role of the posterior intralaminar complex of the thalamus in social behavior. Amanda will graduate with a PhD in neuroscience and pursue a career in healthcare consulting. Congratulations, Amanda. The Arthur Siderbaum Mentoring by a Graduate Student Award recognizes outstanding mentoring by a graduate student, where the mentoring may happen in the laboratory, the classroom, the community, or all of the above. It recognizes the importance of mentoring in both the professional and educational goals of the schools and in the realm of peer-to-peer -peer advice as students progress into and through our programs. This award is named in honor of uh, the outstanding mentoring provided by Dr. Arthur Siderbaum. Dr. Siderbaum was a most accomplished and inspirational educator and had a distinguished career in the field of cellular metabolism, a topic of a cornerstone of his teaching efforts. Dr. Siderbaum had a long-standing and celebrated history of inspiring our students through his outstanding mentoring. This year's recipient is Christopher Guevara. At Sinai, Chris joined the labs of Dr. George Huntley and Dr. Diana Benson, where he has studied how a Parkinson's linked mutation impacts the developing brain and differentially mediates stress-related behavior. 
During his PhD, Chris has authored nine peer-reviewed journal papers, received three travel awards, an NIH Research Distinction Award, and has been a recipient of private and federal funding for his research. He's a first-generation Ecuadorian-American and the product of so many mentors himself. Chris has always been eager to mentor the next generation of scientists. In his roles as a teaching assistant, lecturer, neuro big sibling to first year PhD students, summer undergraduate research program for underrepresented scholars committee member, and Center for Excellence in Youth Education Mentor, he has collectively been able to work with students ranging from elementary school all the way to graduate school. Chris will graduate with his PhD and continue his career in supporting scientific research and healthcare innovation as a business development associate at the Mass General Brigham. Congratulations, Chris. The Excellence in Public Health Award is given to an MD and PH student who demonstrates commitment, dedication, and leadership to the field of public health. This student exceeds expectations in advancing the mission of the graduate program in public health, in preventing disease, protecting the environment, and promoting good health in partnership with the communities we serve. This year's recipient is Emily Michelle Blackner. Congratulations, Emily. The Medical Scientist Training Program Award was established to recognize an MD-PhD student for outstanding contributions to the MD-PhD program and or to Mount Sinai. This year's recipient is Diana Lisa Jones. Diana Lisa is a member of the Association of Native American Medical Students, National Executive Board and founded the ICANN's ANAMS chapter. While at ICANN, she has also served as a student psychotherapist at the East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership, a member of the American Medical Association, Medical Student Section Committee on American Indian Affairs, and the Center for Anti-Racism in Practice Fellow. She is the recipient of a Ruth Kirstein NRSA Predoctoral Fellowship from the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. Then Alisa anticipates completing her MD-PhD training in 2025. Congratulations, Diana Lisa. Each year, the graduate school recruits additional classes with emphasis on academic and research excellence, diversity in all its form, and the desire to continue to strive to be better. This cannot be accomplished without the participation of the students themselves, many of whom devote countless hours of unselfish service to the graduate school community. Dr. Miki Rifkin, a former associate dean of the graduate school, embodied all that has developed this community. Dr. Rifkin was at the center of the generation of new programs, as well as new modalities of education and recruitment, while at the same time ensuring that all were accountable for their actions. Miki was a doer and exemplified the fire in the belly that she reminded us was essential for success at what we do. I'm delighted to award this year's Miki Rifkin Graduate School Service Award to Margaret Hung. While at Sinai, Maggie earned a spot on an NIH T32 interdisciplinary training grant for systems and developmental biology and birth defects, won multiple academic and extracurricular awards, and published three peer-reviewed papers. Away from the bench, Maggie volunteered for PhD recruitment and orientation events, served on the Black Family Stem Cell Institute Retreat Organizing Committee, was a member of various student leadership committees, and was a teaching assistant for five years. Her proudest acts of service to the designer community began with her organization of a peer mentoring program within the MS of Biomedical Sciences program which took hold and was adopted by the PhD in Biomedical Sciences program through her involvement with the Trainee Health and Wellness Committee, THAW. In late 2017, Maggie was selected as the PhD student co-chair of THAW and worked through the end of 2020 to initiate several large initiatives to build a community within the trainee body the stigmatize conversations surrounding mental health in academia, and the advocate for the accessibility of mental health resources for trainees within the Mount Sinai Health System. Maggie will graduate with her PhD in Biomedical Sciences and will continue her academic training as a postdoc before pursuing a career in biotechnology. Congratulations, Maggie. 
The Terry Ann Kruilch Doctoral Dissertation Prize is given annually to a PhD candidate who has successfully defended the most outstanding thesis during this academic year as determined by a competitive selection process. A faculty committee reviewed the denominations and selected the recipients. The prize is donated by the graduate school and is named after Dr. Terry Ann Kruilch, a former dean of the graduate school the founding director of the Mount Sinai MD-PhD program and the founding director of the Mount Sinai's post-baccalaureate research education program. In her 48 years of tenure as a faculty member at Mount Sinai, Dr. Kruilch, an accomplished scientist and valued mentor and teacher, fostered the countless outstanding graduates of our school who have gone on to distinguished careers. This year's recipient of the Terry Ann Kruilch Doctoral Dissertation Prize is Rochelle Sandeep Patel. Within three years at ICANN, Rochelle excelled as a research scientist, published over 27 peer-reviewed articles, five of which he has as a first author. His research focused on a typical immune response to viral infections, specifically investigating the role of innate immune cells in antiviral defense. Rochelle's discoveries could inform the development of life-saving antiviral therapies. Beyond these publications, Rochelle made significant contributions to the scientific community more broadly. He established cell protocols and bioinformatic pipelines that have become standard practices for researchers worldwide. Outside of the lab, he served as the PhD student representative of the graduates Student Steering Committee, where he made decisions to better student life and well-being at Sinai. Rochelle's mentorships of fellow PhD students and his participation on the admission committee demonstrated his commitment to cultivating the next generation of scientists. As Rochelle graduates with his PhD degree, he begins his new role as a senior scientist at Tempus Lab where he will leverage real-world clinical and molecular data to drive the development of innovative new therapies for cancer patients. Congratulations, Rochelle. We would like to take a moment to thank our Monsina community and donors for all of these wonderful awards and prizes given out today. I'm incredibly honored to receive this nomination. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sincerely grateful. Thank you. I would like to start by thanking my family, friends, and partner, as well as Drs. Meredith Grossman and Lauren Linkowski for their consistent support throughout my medical school career. For the Dr. Joseph R. Jagist Anesthesiology Award, I would specifically like to thank the following faculty. Drs. Adam Levine, Brian Mahoney, Samuel DiMaria, Ira Hoffer, Matthew Levin, Nicolette Schlichting, Natalie Smith, Oded Tall, Corey Vasisco and Ryan Wing for their invaluable mentorship and guidance, and with whom I cannot wait to spend the next four years working with during residency. For the Excellence in Public Health Award, I would like to thank Dr. Stephanie Factor for being an exceptional role model and for her endless support and mentorship, and Dr. Lauren Zajak for expanding my skill set and ensuring that I'll be an incredibly well-rounded physician. I'm truly humbled to be the recipient of two commencement awards, and I cannot wait to continue with my medical training here at Mount Sinai in anesthesiology. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting my passion for gender equity and honoring me with this award. I am beyond grateful for this recognition and am inspired to continue advancing the academic contributions of women to medicine and healthcare, as well as using my career to support the rights of women and girls worldwide. Thank you so much to the Mount Sinai Alumni Association. It's an honor to be this year's recipient of the Alumni Leadership Award. This award would not be possible without the love and support of my family and also the student veteran community at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Also a special thanks to the Dean of the School, Dr. Dennis Charney, Dean for Medical Education, Dr. David Muller, and Dean of Admissions, Recruitment, and Alumni Affairs, Dr. Valerie Parkas, for their leadership and advocacy for veterans in medicine. Thank you so much, and I look forward to joining the ranks of Mount Sinai alumni this spring. I would like to thank my wonderful family and friends and the faculty and peers that have supported me throughout this challenging, engaging, and rewarding journey. I am so deeply grateful to you all. I would like to thank my family, friends, and partner, as well as the many faculty members at Sinai who have offered unconditional encouragement and support throughout my medical education. 
Thank you to the patients who allowed me the privilege of participating in your care. And thank you to the family, friends, and mentors who always uplifted me when I needed a helping hand. I wouldn't be here without the support of my chosen family of friends and loved ones. I want to thank Dr. Allison Galt, who believed in me and lifted me up every time it was most needed. Thank you to Claudia, who welcomed me into her own family and provided a home away from home. And even though she is no longer with us, I want to thank my adopted mom, Marcella, AKA Mama Lala, whose strength, humor, and openness towards the world and everyone in it served as a constant inspiration for the person I hope to be. Thank you. Thank you to my mom, my dad, my sister Sophia, and all of my family and friends for supporting me on this journey. Thank you to my mentors, Dr. Ferrara and Dr. Levine, for encouraging my interest in pediatric chemonk research and for giving me the opportunity to build new skills as a future physician and clinical researcher. I learned so much from my year with you, your work ethic, your ability to think critically, the focus you bring with your passion for this research. I am grateful to have been guided by our incredibly driven and thoughtful team. I want to thank the MD-PhD leadership, my MD-PhD class, and lab members for their support and guidance throughout this journey. I also want to thank my research mentors, Dr. Mary Murad and Dr. Brian Brown, for their mentorship and encouragement, and for being role models that have helped me grow as a scientist. Finally, I want to thank my friends and family for their unwavering support and love, without whom none of this would be possible. I'd like to thank my husband, my daughter, my parents, my siblings, and my friends for their humor and love and for giving meaning to the most challenging parts of this experience. I'd also like to thank the many faculty members at Sinai who fostered opportunities for me and who encouraged my work across disciplines. To me, there is no higher honor than to be recognized for the humanism I strive to bring to medicine, and I am beyond grateful to have been nominated and recognized by my peers in this way. Thank you. I wanna thank my family and friends, and I'm so grateful to the residents and faculty who've been incredible mentors, teachers, and role models. I also wanna thank my patients and their families for allowing me to learn from them and for reminding me why I chose to be a pediatrician. I am humbled and immensely grateful to be inducted into the Gold Humanism Honor Society this year. Thank you to my parents and sister who have provided me unwavering support, to teachers and mentors who have helped guide me, and friends who have sustained and inspired me throughout medical school. I would like to thank my fiance Charlotte, my family, and my friends for their endless love and support. I would also like to extend a special thanks to my classmates for their friendship, energy, and passion that have made these past five years so special. Lastly, I would like to thank my mentors and the portal leadership for being sources of inspiration and guidance throughout my medical and research education. Thank you. Thank you to all those who have supported me during my medical school journey my friends and classmates, all the professors, attendings, and residents who had worked with me and instructed me on the floors, in the classroom, and in research, and my parents and sister. I could not have done any of this without your wisdom, guidance, and kindness throughout the entire process. I would like to thank my countless mentors throughout my journey that have made my achievements possible as each of your individual investments has made such a tremendous impact in my growth as a scientist and as a mentor, and has served as a fuel of inspiration to foster and bridge opportunities for the next generation of scientists. I would also like to extend the biggest thank you to all these the mentees that nominated me for this award and for this incredible recognition. I am so grateful to my partner, family, friends, mentors, and the incredible Sinai faculty who have made my medical school experience not only possible, but also fascinating, challenging, and fulfilling. I would like to thank my mom and dad, who have tirelessly paved the way for me to be here today. I would not be here without all that they have done and sacrificed for me. I'd also like to thank my grandfather, my extended family, and my dear friends who have supported me throughout this journey. I'd like to thank all of my mentors and colleagues at Sinai that have supported me in all of my endeavors along the way and have made this PhD a spectacular learning experience both at and away from the bench. I'd also like to give a special thank you to my mentor, Rob Kraus, who has always supported me with compassion and patience and given me the latitude to pursue my desire to improve the training experience at Sinai. Thank you, MSTP leadership and students for this honor. And thank you to my parents for always emphasizing the importance of community and service to others. This award is really a reflection of you. I would like to thank Dr. Siegel and Dr. Gabrilov for teaching me everything I know about research. 
Thanks to my friends for making these last five years some of the best years of my life. Last but not least, thank you mom, dad, and Denise for loving me unconditionally and supporting me while I live out my dream of becoming an ENT surgeon. I am extremely honored to have been awarded the Ms. David A. Dryling Surgery Prize by the Department of Surgery at Mount Sinai. I will be forever grateful for the support and encouragement that the department has given me as I pursue my passion for surgery. Thank you so much for this award. I feel incredibly humbled and grateful to have peers and faculty that inspire me to push myself to be someone who cares for their patients. Also, I would like to thank my family for instilling those values in me since I was a kid. Thank you very much to the faculty and staff members of the radiology department who have supported my interest in radiology since I came to Sinai. And thank you to my family and friends who are there for support and celebration. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for the help that I received from them. I would like to extend a very special thank you to my parents, Albert and Diane, for their love, reassurance, and unwavering support. I would also like to thank the rest of my family and my friends, especially Cassie and Johanna, for all of the laughs and keeping me grounded all throughout. I am also incredibly grateful for all of my educators and mentors who provided tremendous guidance and teaching along the way. I would like to thank my family and friends who have provided me with unwavering support throughout my PhD training. I'd also like to extend my gratitude to my mentors and coworkers who have made my time at Sinai a positive and memorable experience. I am so thankful to my parents, my brother, my partner, and my incredible family here at Mount Sinai. My classmates and teachers inspire me every day to be a better physician and advocate for my patients. I am so, so lucky to be here. Thank you with my whole heart. I'd like to thank all of the mentors and professors that I've had at Mount Sinai who've encouraged and developed my love of public health and medicine through this far of my medical and public health degrees, as well as my parents, my family, and friends who've always supported me along this journey. I want to thank the Department of Neurology for this honor and for providing me with so many opportunities to grow as a clinician, an educator, and a researcher. I would like to say a special thank you to Dr. Laura Stein for four years of mentorship, teaching, guidance, patience, and general life advice. I am so lucky to have met you and you've been such a role model to me throughout my time at Sinai. And lastly, I would like to thank my family and friends for all their love and support throughout med school. I couldn't have done it without you. I want to thank the geriatrics department for this award. As a new medical student here four years ago, I couldn't have predicted meeting so many kind and dedicated individuals in the department who have such a contagious excitement for taking care of older adults and who have supported and taught me during my time here. Thank you so much for this award. It will serve as a reminder to always consider the broader context when treating a person's illness, to strive for unrivaled medical and clinical excellence, which requires taking into account the patient's values. Thank you again. I am immensely grateful to the stellar faculty at Sinai who have always encouraged me on my dream of becoming a doctor. Dr. Cromwell saw my potential and passion for medical education before I did. Dean Muller has always been incredibly approachable and willing to make changes to ensure the health of students and make waves in ensuring our education tackles issues of race and bias. Dr. Hersher continues to emulate not only the kind of bright physician I wish to be, but the kind of human I wish to be. He has supported my development as a clinical teacher, and I am so blessed to continue working with him on the wards this summer. Thank you to my classmates, my teachers, and most of all, to my patients. Thank you to my loved ones, my friends, and my mentors. I am grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for always making space for me, for listening to me, and most importantly, always showing up for me. This award is for you. I want to express my deepest gratitude to my mentors, Dr. Brad Rosenberg and Dr. Dusan Bukunovic, for believing me and giving me the chance to pursue my passion for science. Their guidance and their support have been invaluable in shaping my career and helping me achieve my goals. To my friends, both near and far, thank you for being there for me throughout this journey. Your support has made this experience truly unforgettable. I came to this institution to earn a degree, but I'm leaving here with another family. And finally, I want to thank my family and my parents. They've been my biggest supporters, providing unwavering love and encouragement every step of the way. 
Their sacrifices have allowed me to overcome obstacles and pursue my dreams without hesitation. I will be forever grateful for their unwavering support and love. Thank you. I want to thank Dr. John Sfakianos and Dr. Amir Horwitz for their trust, their support, and for letting me spend all of their research money. I want to thank Dr. Julian Cavallo and Dr. Uh, Elliot Merritt for always answering my desperate midnight calls uh, about which liquid I'm supposed to submerge tissue in. And I would like to thank my family and most of all my partner Sophie for putting up with a decidedly not relaxed research year. I would like to thank my parents and sister, Sudhir, Rama, and Swetha, partner, friends, and classmates for their continuing love and encouragement. I would specifically like to thank my mentor, Dr. Joanne Stone, who has been a source of endless support and inspiration since my first year of medical school. I would also like to thank the many faculty members within the OBGYN department, including Dr. Catherine Chen and Dr. Chelsea DeBolt for their countless hours of advice and guidance. Thank you for this honor. I would like to thank my family, friends, professors, peers, and mentors who have helped me along my medical school journey. I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you to those who have shown me what it means to be courageous in medicine. The bravery to do things that our heart tells us are right should never be taken for granted and is something I hope to give back to the future generations. I am so thankful to my parents, brother, grandmother, partner, and roommates for believing in me and supporting me. I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you. I want to thank all the friends, family, mentors, and colleagues for the support they have provided and continue to provide on this journey. I consider myself lucky to have trained at an institution that selects truly kind and selfless individuals who care about improving the culture of medicine and providing equitable care. I hope to carry the things I've learned with me into the future. I would like to first thank my peers who nominated me and the Gold Humanism Honor Society for accepting their nominations. While there are far too many people to thank individually, I would be remiss if I did not thank by name from Mount Sinai, Rainier Soriano, Jeffrey Leitman, Lauren Linkowski, Matthew Tommy, David Adams, Rami Tadros, Windsor Ting, and Paul Stelzer for demonstrating to me day after day what being a physician is all about. I would also like to thank all of my friends and my family, my siblings, Andrew and Shana, my father, Alan, and of course, my mother, Nancy. I consider myself extremely fortunate to have always had a guide, a hero, and a friend to look up to in my life. Lastly, I would like to thank the patients from our first cadaver onwards who have placed in us the ultimate trust and for whom all of this is truly for. Thank you. I am honored and incredibly grateful to be receiving the Dr. M. Ralph Kaufman Psychiatry Prize. An enormous thank you to the Department of Psychiatry at Mount Sinai, which has given me the opportunity to learn from faculty members who are not only brilliant psychiatrists and researchers, but also incredible educators. My mentors here have gone the extra mile to support me both personally and academically, and truly represent the kind of clinician that I hope to become. Thank you so much for your support. It has made an incredible difference in my journey through medicine. I'm also honored and incredibly grateful to be receiving the Portal Thesis Award in Clinical Research. Being a part of the Portal program has been a foundational part of my medical school experience and truly empowered me to explore and develop my own research interests. Thank you so much to the program directors who have tirelessly advocated for me over the past few years. And I look forward to bringing what you have taught me into my future career. I would like to extend my sincerest gratitude and thanks to my family, friends, mentors, and the Portal leadership team for their incredible support and guidance. I'd like to thank my parents, Robert and Deborah, my plastic surgery mentors, Dr. Taylor, Taub, Sir Letty, Swanson, Bartlett, and Horish, and my faculty mentors, Dr. Butts, Dweck, and Fernandez for support throughout medical school. Thank you to the Office of Wellbeing and Resilience for the honor of this award and for your support of student well-being in and outside of medical school. Thank you to the students of peers and other student-led groups working to build a strong community at Sinai and beyond. And thank you to the family, friends, roommates, and mentors who have guided me over the past four years and made medical school such a wonderful adventure. I am extremely grateful for the support and love that Shannon, my family, and dear friends have given that made this pursuit possible. I would like to thank my dedicated mentors and heroes who have modeled the ideal physician and compassionate person to which I aspire. I'm humbled and motivated by the patients and families I have worked with who have given this journey meaning. 
This concludes the 2023 Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai MD, PhD, and Dual Degree Achievement Ceremony. Tomorrow, we are thrilled to be honoring each of our graduates individually during our commencement ceremony. We would also like to take this opportunity to extend our congratulations to all of our graduates, and most especially to all the families and friends who have supported them over these busy years. We look forward to joining everyone tomorrow at 2 p.m. at David Geffen Hall for the MD, PhD, dual degree commencement ceremony.